So we're right here at this spot, man. I call this a Ray Highway, because these Ray takes this path every time at the outgoing time. And I know, I just had a couple minutes before this tide switch. So I came in here, man, and sure enough, saw two rays out about 500 feet out easy, man. Spotted two fish on them, waited out to them, man. Got one or two good casts in there. Real successful on that last cast, got it in here, man, and stuck the primitive of the day, baby. <laughs> I've guided so many other places in the Bahamas and Soulfly is unique to me because the island is not so big but it's all surrounded by ocean and on the west side have some of the greatest flats ever. You can tell the way it's set up that's just a fishy area man. You got channels that comes right out of the ocean and basically dredge through the sandbanks. So you basically have like constant highways of permit movement, other fish movement, bait movement, always something to target. Seeing a stingray, it's like, man, I cannot even describe that. That's like almost like finding a, a new girlfriend. Because once you see the stingray, you almost look to see the permit following behind. It's like they're friends that can't get away from each other. Once you could figure out the ray movements, it's like you could always stay in healthy primate fishing throughout the entire day, just tracking different ray families on the flats. When I started getting into an animal's head, how he thinks, you know, and trying so many different things, stomping the boat, see how far he spooks out, talking loudly, see how far he can hear you, you know, stripping differently, see what's spooking, what he likes, what he doesn't like. So you gotta basically almost go into the lab and do a lot of studying and a lot of testing. You just gotta do the homework. There's no skipping past none of the hard work, man. Our mission is to connect anglers with wonderful experiences on the water. But we feel that our, our true purpose here is to, to be a part of the community, to support the community, to take wonderful care of our staff, and have a minimal footprint on our planet while we're doing so. We can take eight anglers. We have four boats and six rooms. So we've got the opportunity for anglers to come and sleep single or sleep double, and then either fish sharing a boat or have, have your own single boat. We've got kind of an expansive spot here. Lots of little nooks to hang out. We've got a beautiful 20 by 50 foot pool out back. And then just a short walk through the coconut trees takes you right down to a really nice little beach that stretches for miles up to the north and to the south. Our food program is all run by Chef Valentino, who's been cooking at restaurants and fishing lodges for his whole career. He's an incredibly talented guy that we're very, very lucky to, to have here. Getting to Soulfly Lodge is pretty easy. There's direct flights right out of Fort Lauderdale. You can clear customs right here in the island. And it's actually a brand new airport that just started running this past December. You can even get here in the morning and fish on arrival. Anybody that catches a permit, we hand out cool handmade medallions. My mom, Taft Schaefer, actually made them. You also get an entry up on the permit wall. So we've got these cool little wooden permit cutouts that you can sign. For an angler, we get up about, you know, 6 to 6.30, grab a cup of coffee, start taking breakfast orders around 6.45, sit down for a good meal, and then we're on the boats by 8. And We'll have the boats all packed up with your lunch and, and extra water bottles and a big gallon jug for refilling and fish till about four. When you get off the boat, we'll be at the dock to greet you with a, a cooler full of cold beers or seltzers and a nice cold towel to, to wash the day off your face and come on back to the lodge to relax. Each time of year has different nuances with weather that have pros and cons attached to it. There's bonefish here all year round. The permit, there's definitely some times of year that are better for the permit, typically early in the season and late. September, October, May and June are, are prime time for permit. And then also typically a lot of the other species that we target are, are here year round. We're very family oriented, casual, but we work really hard to have a refined service 
I think it's that mentality that really resonates with our guests that find themselves wanting to come back and back and back, is just the connection with the people here, the connection with the team. Of course, the fishery is wonderful, but I think those are the things that people really remember is, is the people that they meet here and the, the connections they make along the way.